It's a trap! It's a trap! Arguably one of the most iconic lines in Star Wars history. However, it wouldn't have been able to make waves in the fandom if there weren't waves in the world. What do I mean? Well, a very crucial physics concept is waves. Waves are disturbances of, that move energy from one point to another. Some common examples are radio waves and sound waves. Sound waves, for example, move kinetic energy of vibrating particles from someone's mouth to your ears. But the problem with sound waves is that they need some matter to travel through, solid, liquid or gas. That's why they say that no one can hear you scream in space. So where does Star Wars come in? And why am I reeling poor Admiral Akbar here? Let me explain. Admiral Akbar's most famous dialogue appears while most of the characters are engrossed in a dogfight in space. Most of them, therefore, would not be able to hear him through the sound wave his mouth made, since space is a vacuum for the most part. Luckily for them, physics exists. And it has two different kind of waves. One is a mechanical wave. Mechanical waves are waves that need a medium to travel through. They cannot travel without one and therefore can't travel in space. Sound is one of them. Their counterpart is a type called an electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through space. They are created by vibrations between electric fields and magnetic fields. They don't depend on any media to travel and therefore they can travel through space. So how did Admiral Akbar use this to ensure eternal cinematic glory? Well, to communicate with the rest of the Rebel Alliance in the vicinity, he likely used radio waves, a type of electromagnetic waves. He had a transmitter that took sound waves from his mouth and converted them into radio waves. Those radio waves were transmitted into the vacuum of space. The Alliance had receivers that converted those back into sound waves that went into their ears. And that's why they could hear him. So, by converting the waves into electromagnetic ones and then back into mechanical ones, you can transmit them across vacuums.